Hello. Hello, my freaksters. I want to talk to you about something. I've been dealing with this woman all day long. And I'm not talking about my mom. You don't call your mom a woman. You call her mom. Or this woman. Yeah. Um, there's this woman from some... I can't pronounce it. Uh, Barbo, Michigan. She's been calling a lot today. <clears throat> she claims she's with the Social Security Administration Building Department Office. I don't give a crap. One, whatever you want to call it. Hold on. Checking the battery. Okay, okay, I'm good. Why am I checking? I changed today. But she called and saying, "You got give me your last four digits of your Social Security number." And how dumb do people think we are? Just because I look retarded. That's what people tell me. I look retarded. They also say I look like a stoner. Like smoke weed. But I don't. <laughs> Drugs are weird. But anyway, I'm getting off track here. I'm a rambler. But. She's been calling all day, and I was asked her, how dumb do you think I am? I know you're scamming us, because I looked up the town, and apparently she and a bunch of other people scamming everybody in Michigan out of thousands of dollars. She said, oh, we got, if you don't give us the last four digits, I just called her a little bit ago. She said, if you don't give me the last four digits of your social security number, uh, there will be a warrant out for your rest with your name on it <laughs> I started to tell her my social last four digits are A B C D now leave me alone <laughs> but I didn't I've dealt with a lot of scammers in my life it's retarded um like Dorrance Publishing y'all ever heard of that company man I keep thinking I hit the button what's up with that Y'all ever heard of that Dorrance Publishing Company? Well, they did me wrong. I one time sent them a fishing book manuscript. Yeah, get this. I sent it to the Dorrance Publishing Company, and they sent me a contract. Now, this contract had some weird stuff. Yeah, you ready to hear it? They asked for my social security number for a book. Now what in the world? Why would a publishing company need your social security number? Stay, the point is stay away from Dorrance Publishing. Because I heard even if they do make you a book, you're just handing them out for free to your friends. They don't distribute them or nothing for you. But like this publisher I got now, he's not a fraud. God knows it, I know it. He's all, I don't call him my publisher. His name's Brian K. Roberts. I call him a new member of my family because he's cool. I like the guy just because he's a nice person. I don't care that he's about ready to make us money. Friendship is more important than money, you know? But anyway, he not one time asked for my social security number because social security numbers ain't got nothing to do with books, you know? This world's full of corrupt ignorant people and I don't know it's just we whoa oh they're work they're working out there they're not filming them making trouble <laughs> I'm home alone my parents or parents one parent and my mom is the parent okay let's get this straight I'm tongue-tied my mom's the parent and Gary's my uncle, okay? We're not that hillbilly where my uncle and my mom slept together and had me. We're not that crazy. <laughs> That's just weird. I'm from southern Indiana, not southern southern. <laughs> I don't know if they still do that or not, but my mom and uncle, what I was trying to say, is went to go get donuts there's this place in Newcastle, Indiana, that's down the road from us. Many miles down the road, of course. 
that sells the best donuts ever. They got these, um, what are they, like, donuts with powder on top of it and vanilla pudding in the middle. Oh, you talk about heavenly nuts, okay? That, that don't sound right. Boy, anyway, they're delicious. I don't know if I said that right. Delicioso. Delicious. I don't know. I'm not Mexican, y'all. <laughs> hey, I want you to see something. Look at my grandma. Look at that. I'd have liked to meet her. She looked like a nice person. Of course, she died way before I was even around. Look at that art. That's worth a lot of money. I created that many years ago. Some guy offered me 20000 for it. I mean, no, I asked him for 20000 for it, and he said, maybe someday I'll give it to you. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking about stuff, y'all. If life don't get better for me, I'm going to join the military. But right now, I just pray y'all buy my book and give me a good life. That way I can give y'all a good life. Because when I get money, I'm going to help as many people out as I can, you know. I do their create books right now than get shot at. I mean, I've been shot before, but not in the military. But Oh, remember that military um, canteen I showed y'all? That's not from me being in the military. I got that at a military store. It was made in 1970. Um... Um, 72, long, maybe that's why we see spirits, because uh, it probably came from a dead soldier, you know, yeah, I just thought of that, I'm sorry I got the camera keep facing me, but I ain't got much excitement going on in my house, so I guess I'm the only exciting thing here right now. I mean, this house is exciting sometimes, but not today. I sort of wish I would have went for the car ride. Dang it. I said dang, I didn't cuss. I'm not a cusser. If I was Polish, I'd call somebody a father mucker. <laughs> Twist to the first letters, okay? Father mucker. <laughs> that sounds like some kind of disease. Hey, Doc, my feather mucker itches. Put some cream on it. I need some feather mucker cream. <laughs> see, see, that sounds dumb, you know? <laughs> I'm just... It, I got another thing to talk about, y'all. There's a certain world-famous company that's been doing me wrong lately. Now, please don't sue me, because this is not a hate video towards Facebook, because I freaking love Facebook. That's where all my friends are, and we're a girl I've loved since kindergarten broke up with me, dang it. Cara Marie French, it was an accident. Someone hacked into my freaking Facebook account, okay? I had to get it changed. I freaking like you. I've liked you since kindergarten. And you blocked me because some of my so-called friend hacked into my Facebook account and freaking was saying things. Now you don't want nothing to do with me. I went to talk to you one day and I freaking cried since I couldn't talk to you. That's how much I like you. Not going to come out, dang it. Um, but anyway, the Facebook company, they treat me wrong sometimes. Like, the other day, for example, there's this sad photos of this guy, or schoolboy, he was black, beating a little, sorry, it's kind of hard to talk about, I don't like animal abuse, he was beating this little pit bull pup, he was pounding on it, throwing it over his shoulders, 
and thousands of people were sharing it onto their Facebook pages. As soon as I did it, they told me to take it off because it was against company standards to have something like that on a Facebook page. When other people, I'm talking thousands.